is another example of trial engineering's bespoke VAC tanker range. Now this one has been mounted on an Aggie style spec, so you've got flotation wheels and tyres on a slow speed chassis. The usually standard Aggie spec, you'd have a well done uh, two inch ring eye. Uh, this particular customer has asked for a 50 mil ball. Now you've got two tanks in one, so it's a galvanised tank and you've got 1000 litres of effluent waste and then you've got 300 litres of clean water for washing down. Now we've fitted a pressure washer to the front and we've fitted a vat pump to the back. So let me show you the pressure washer first at the front. So all contained in a heavy duty galvanised steel cabinet. So take the D clips off into the clamps. We secure with the bonnet catches. So inside there it is a 3000 PSI diesel pressure washer. All electric start. So easy enough to start. So you just turn, just make sure the fuel tap is on the on position. And you turn the tortoise to the hair, press the start button, and away you go. And you can adjust the pressure. Unload a valve there so you can just adjust the pressure more or less pressure as I say that's 3000 psi diesel washer So I'll just bring the cabinet back down again Before you start your washer just make sure that you've got the the water feed to, on the on position So there's your water feed Turn that on to the on position. There's also a drain down valve on the side there. So in the winter when it's going to freeze you can drain the tank down and then you've got your three sight glasses two three and now i'll show you the contents and then you've got your vent at the top there's also a two inch filling point there now moving to the back of the tank where you've got the vac pump again secured in a galvanized steel cabinet And there you've got again Yanmar electric start diesel engine powering a MEC 2000 vacuum pump. Now you can put the pump on blow for emptying the tank under pressure and then you can simply move the pump to suck just by moving the handle from there to there and then that's going to be on suction for filling the tank. Now the hoses on the tank that we've got, we've got 25 metres of two inch suction hose. And then we've also, the customer's asked for an additional 15 metres of suction hose. So you can easily swap them over with quick release cam coupler there. And then on the discharge side, there's six metres of two inch discharge hose. I say all the hoses are stored on the brackets on the tank. So to discharge, simply just move the valve into the open position then start up your vat pump as i say just make sure that it's on the blow for discharge and that's how you discharge the tank quickly go through the safety features you've got a pressure relief valve built into the vacuum pump and then we'll just put this down So you've got a primary overfill protection at the top of the tank, going down to a secondary overfill protector, and that goes to the vac pump. Then you've got a vacuum relief valve in the top of the tank, and then there is a pressure gauge, so you can see whether you're on pressure or vacuum. There is also three sight glasses on the dirty side, on the effluent side, showing you as the tank's filling. That's about it for the walk around of Trangineering's bespoke build vac tanker. So this one is Aggie style, 1000 effluent, 300 litres clean. Don't forget to watch our other videos on YouTube. Check out our website, trangineering.co.uk. Thanks for watching.